Welcome to KiCad. KiCad is a software for the creation of electronic schematic diagrams and printed circuit board. The first time you open it, you will get a warning that no project has been created. Click on this button named Start a New Project. Create a new folder and choose a name for your project. KiCad is free. You can download it for Windows and Linux. To the people who made this software, thank you. For this tutorial, we will do a project called VUSB. You can find it on workinprogress.ca. It looks like this on a breadboard. This is the final schematic. Let's start. Click on this button named Schematic Editor. To show the shortcut, press Shift plus question mark. You can modify the shortcut under Preferences, Hotkeys. Don't forget to save the preferences afterward. Change the colors if you want to. It's this icon to turn off the grid. The logical thing to do first is to name your schematic. Let's zoom to see it. Use your mouse wheel to zoom at the cursor position. F1 zoom in. F2 zoom out. F3 to reset the view. Now it's time to add a component. We will search for an Atmega 16. You can use this icon or use the shortcut, the letter A, on your keyboard. Use a select by browser. Click on Atmel. Click on Atmega 16. Now use this button to add it to your schematic. Here's some component we will need for this project. Type in name, R for resistor, C for capacitor, CP1 for electrolytic capacitor, diode. We will need a clock type crystal, and finally an USB connector. You can find it under the category CONN. Now for the virtual power component, you can click on this button and then list all. We find the 5 volts in the list. Do a connection between two pins by pressing W on the keyboard. It will start to draw a wire. You can also draw a connection with this button. Add a ground by tapping GND in name. Press R to make a rotation. Click on the first pin you want to connect or bring the connection to the other pin. Now we will not connect this wire to a pin. Instead we will simply double click to end the wire. Use the button named place net name and click on the wire. D plus. D minus. Click the middle mouse button to recenter the schematic at your cursor position. Use the mouse wheel to zoom. Connect the ground like so. When two or more connections touch, a junction is created. Same principle file for the 5 volts. Now a resistor connect to 5 volts. Rotation with R. W to connect. For the crystal, we will use the one we created earlier. Press Escape to go in selection mode. Draw a rectangle around the components we created. The right click will bring a menu to manipulate the selected block. We only take this one. R for a rotation. M to move the component. Be careful to move the component and not the blue letters. Two capacitors will be connected to the crystal.
Oops, this is an electrolytic capacitor. To erase it, press this button and click on the component. Oh, that is not good. You can undo with Ctrl plus Z. Now for the connectors. Press A on the keyboard. List by browser. Look for the category CONN. Use connector 8. You can flip the component with shortcut Y and shortcut X. The rest is the same. Add a component, move it, connect it. To remove a bunch of component, draw a rectangle around it, right click, and choose delete block. This is the final schematic. We can now give a unique identification to our component. This process will replace the question mark with a unique number. This process can be automatic by pressing the annotate schematic button. Click Annotate, Confirm and Close. See the new identification number. You should also assign a value to your components. Next step is to check the schematic for errors. Press the button named Schematic Electric Rules Check. Oh, there's a lot. Close this windows. The green arrows represent an error. Double click on it to see the description. The pin is not connected, and we don't need to connect this pin. Use the Place No Connect Flag button to tell CAD that we don't want to connect this pin. Simply click on the pin you don't want to connect. Here's another problem. We need to erase the wire and redo the connection. This message indicates that the pin is supposed to have a power source connected to it, but there isn't one. To remedy this situation, we can use a special flag that tell CAD that this connection is powered. Look for PWR underscore flag. Connect the power flag to this pin. Two more problems. KitKat is mentioning that those pins are not connected, which is true. We named it D plus and D minus, but on the other side we forgot to name it. Use the button named Place Net Name and click on the wire. D minus. D plus. Last check. Cool. The next step is to generate a netlist. The button is named Netlist Generation. Simply click on Netlist and save. The final step is to associate each component to a corresponding footprint. Run CVPCB by pressing this button. This column is their unique identification. This one is the name of the component. All the footprint are listed. You can press the PDF button. It is a top view of the components. First one is the capacitor. We can view it with this button named View Selected Footprint. You can see the measurement in the status bar. Double click to associate it. You can also view the footprint in 3D using this button. Select SIL if you want to connect a wire or an header. Save it, choose replace, and that is it.